What's up, YouTube family? In September, we took a trip to Marathon, Florida, in hopes of catching a few lobsters and uh, diving for some grouper and snapper. The plan was to pumps to the uh, blackfin tuna and mahi bite was supposed to be on fire. Uh, unfortunately, the weather uh, kept us in pretty close, and when we could get out, there was really just didn't find a whole lot. Uh, we found three lobsters and one yellowtail snapper, which you'll see in the video. But the keys definitely didn't have a lot where we used to see them back home from the Gulf Coast. We will see some rocks that, that we dove. Uh, this was probably uh, this was either an 80 foot dive or a 120 foot dive. You can see just just not a lot of life. You can see a little hog snapper there, but really nothing major. Not a lot of bait. Kind of like a desert. There's that same hog snap. Really nice bottom, really nice rocks, but just not a whole lot of life. It was the only fish that we speared while we were in, uh, in the Keys. One little yellowtail snapper. This is, uh, this is back home, so our first dive after vacation, you can see the difference of all the life and all the bait. Just crazy the difference in the two places. Water clarity is not quite as good as this is key, but the, the fishing made up for it. This is Chris's view. Uh, first dive of the day, I always preach that first dive of the day is usually your, your best dive because you can scout for fish while you're on the way down. Chris takes a shot at a really nice hog snapper on this one and misses. He gets another off. There he is again. He's really red, nice red snapper in the background. My hog snapper just hanging out, teasing Chris. This is one of my favorite spots to dive. If you ever hear me talk about big rock or a good bottom, it's just a big group of numbers we've got out there. It's all, it's all pretty good sized rocks. Got holes, Swiss cheese bottom. We could not get on the uh, get on the fish, so I, Chris missed. I missed. It's all the same fish. Chris swam over, and you'll see here. He, <laughs> he misses again. It uh, it was not a good day. <laughs> we just could not connect with this fish. You'll see in the video here, Chris finally jumps over and knocks him out, but it, uh, it was rough chasing this one fish around. Chris was so excited he came up to me to show me his fish. I was like, yeah, finally got him, finally. This is the same, same fish, but Chris is good. There's my mess. <laughs> Chris swoops in and finally kills this fish. So this was the big fish of the day. There's always 
there's always one big fish and this this was it and i chased him around for a really long time you can see him in the background barely. he stayed just out of reach uh, right there in front of my gun swimming away from me just could not connect he was i know he was like 30 he was probably 34 35 inch range um, it's always it sounds good when, when you're on the bottom but uh i really wanted to bring this fish to the top he was he was huge i'm chasing him again he's he's in these rocks somewhere usually you can follow one of these fish and they'll take you to a hole you try to stay slow try to stay calm eventually most of the time they'll give you an opportunity unfortunately this fish never did you can see a small group of deer i knew he was in that hole where my light's at that fish goes in there and i just didn't want to risk uh, but he pops out on the backside and takes off across the reef again, across the scene to go find another hole. Just couldn't connect. Finally, I was like, ah, there's some hogs snapping around. Well, they're a lot better eating, anyways. So it was about this point that I realized something was wrong with my shaft because I slowed the video down and uh, and I could tell I was hitting the fish. So I pulled my shaft up, put it back in my gun, and I realized that the tip was missing off the gun. So it was just a blunt point. I still had my floppers, but didn't have a uh, didn't have a tip on there. So this was the this was that same fish. That he was wounded. Um, that's where I hit him and kind of knocked him out. Swam over and put the final shot on him. Brought him back up. This this video I was just showing Chris that uh, <laughs> some of your best fish are, are right around you when you are fooling with your gun. This this fish stayed here for over two minutes just checking Chris out while he was trying to reload. Kind of got tangled up in the line there. <laughs> it's a pretty nice hog snapper in that hole. Comes running out. Pretty good chase on this one. Plenty of mangrove snappers you can see around. snapper there big male didn't even i was going through the videos and i didn't even know that this shark was there until i was looking back through videos and we caught him back so this is a really pretty great grouper i get pretty close to here. i almost hate shooting red groupers they uh they just kind of lay there they don't they don't run from you like a jack grouper or a uh, you know black down south this shark chris was to my left taking the hook snapper off and uh, this shark was a little too close for comfort. Didn't shoot him, just, just kind of poked him to get him loose. And all. He, he had stuck around for far too long. Here you'll see something we don't see very often. It's a guitar fish. So you can see him right there in front of my gun. Kind of touched him a little bit and get him to move. Get off some better footage. But uh, pretty cool, pretty neat fish. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, like and subscribe, leave us some comments, tell us what we can improve on, what you like, what you didn't like, and uh, we'll see you soon.